Dean, a hard-fought victory today, but through into the next round of the Cup. Yeah, it's like going back in time here today. Um, have to be honest, fantastic victory for us. Really tough place to come. And uh, we've come against a team that are flying. Their, their form's been amazing within their division, and they've got several players that are from the higher levels, players like Hume and that and Maynard and so on and so on. And obviously, they've got a very experienced management team. And I thought today, we were greeted today. It was a good old-fashioned place, uh, old-fashioned non-league place to come. And the way we were greeted today was phenomenal. So for us to come out on top, Obviously, uh, what, going the goal down early on, Marvin Armstrong pops up on the cusp of half-time. How important was that goal going into the break? Yeah, huge goal for us. Uh, obviously, gives us a lift and gives them a bit of a kick in the teeth. The timing of it was crucial. Really good goal. We got it wide. That's what we wanted to do here today was get it into the wide areas. We knew sort of we could isolate their wing-backs in the wide areas in one we one scenarios with our pace, with steadies, with carnails, we could hurt them. And a great defensive performance from the Bees today. Uh, one person I want to highlight, Finley Potter, two goal-line clearances in that second half. An excellent performance from him today. Yeah, it's what you have to do in cup competitions you know you're gonna to have to defend your box well come here they're gonna like they're on a high aren't they let's be honest and they're asking so many questions when we went 2-1 up and um, we thought the goalkeeper did outstanding again for us brought us a lot of composure and it's not really a pitch you can come here and pass the ball on I'm, I, I don't want to be disrespectful to the pitch but it, listen it's the winter months we have it and we had it last week at Altrincham the pitch wasn't great there either so um, but look so air players stood up to the test today and that was a big test for us um, we were a very young team um, we said we have several players missing. We're, we're, we're hit with a big injury crisis at our football club at the minute. So um, I thought to come through this test is huge for their football team. Ben Winter also came back into the starting eleven today, named captain. How do you think he got on today? Yeah, brilliant to see Wins back. I'm delighted for him. Listen, we know he's a great pro. Uh, he's vice captain at our football club. He's left for a reason. Um, he's come back in now after his injury. And he's done. He's done excellent. Um, like all the Marv come in, got two goals. Big for his confidence. And Brunty set up the second as well, so it was good for Brunty. He scored the winner the other day against Dagenham and set up the winner uh, here today. So, lots of big performances from the lads today. You just touched on that there, obviously, Marvin getting two goals today on his birthday, a great performance for him. Yeah, delighted for Marv. He's been a little bit out in the cold of late because the boys have done so well. Um, but he's come in today and he shows that power and pace he has. Uh, both finishes are excellent, he's good composure. He nearly got another one to get his hat trick, so I thought he was outstanding. He's a good kid, Marv, really good kid. I'm fond of him, really fond of his personality. Um, now he, gets a, he, sh he might get a bigger opportunity now in the league games as well, so it's good for him. He's, he's, uh, he's asked a real question of me. Into the next round now, but next game for us, Chesterfield on the telly. How's it next week going to look for you in the group? Yeah, we have a huge week. I think the week after we got to travel to Oldham on the Tuesday after this Chesterfield game on the Saturday, and then we've got to go to Gateshead on the Saturday. So, ticking fast, this division's relentless. We're looking forward to it. You know, we're looking forward to the Chesterfield game. Hopefully, we can get the hive buzzing and, and get it full. We're going to need our supporters for that. We're going to need a 12th man, definitely, to, uh, to push us forward. Um, obviously, Chesterfield, they're romping the division and they're, they're flying. So, we're doing particularly well. We're really happy with the position we're in. So, hopefully, it'll be a good entertaining game. The last time we played, it was a brilliant game. We found ourselves in the wrong end of the result, but we know how, how much quality they've got as well. So, But we're looking forward to the challenge. Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time.